Here we go. The next session of Dumb Laws in the United States. We are on letter O, or at least uh, the second of the O's, Oklahoma. In Oklahoma, it is illegal for the owner of a bar to allow anyone inside to pretend to have sex with a buffalo. One may not promote a horse tripping event. It is against the law to read a comic book while operating a motor vehicle. I see it is illegal to wear your boots to bed. Whaling is also illegal in Oklahoma. That's a landlocked state. Anyway, it is illegal in Oklahoma to have sex before you are married. It is illegal to have the hind legs of farm animals in your boots. It, fish may not be contained in fish bowls while on a public bus. Residents are taxied from the furniture in their homes. Oh, residents are taxed for the furniture in their homes and any other personal belongings. Tissues are not to be found in the back of one's car. People who make ugly faces at dogs may be fined or jailed. Cars must be tethered outside of public buildings. Oral sex is a misdemeanor and is punishable by one year in jail and a $2,500 fine. Anyone arrested for soliciting a hooker must have their name and picture shown on television. Females are forbidden from doing their own hair without being licensed by the state. It is statutory rape for a man over 18 to have sex with a female under the age of 18, provided she is still a virgin. Dogs must have a permit signed by the mayor in order to congregate in groups of three or more on private property. Tattoos are banned. This actually was repealed, uh, looks like, November 1st of 2006. Oklahoma will not tolerate anyone taking a bite out of another's hamburger. No one may spit on a sidewalk. Now we're going to go to the city laws in Oklahoma. In Atta, Oklahoma, if you wear New York Jets clothing, you may be put in jail. In Bartlesville, Oklahoma, persons may not play catch on any city street. If one's dog is run over by a car, the owner must pay for the dog's disposal. Uh, no person may own more than two adult cats. It is illegal to cause annoying vibrations in the city limits. In Clinton, Oklahoma, any person who leans against a public building will be subject to fines. Also in Clinton, Oklahoma, molesting an automobile is illegal. I don't know, want to know why this is a problem. In Hawthorne, Oklahoma, it is unlawful to put any hypnotized person in dis a display window. Again, huh. In Moore, Oklahoma, it is illegal to drive with a trailer hitch on your vehicle. In Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, one may not tip over a casket at a funeral. It is also illegal to own a stink bomb. It is also illegal for the mayor to go on strike. Also, while it is legal to serve alcohol in a pool hall, all intoxicated persons must leave the premises. No one may walk backwards downtown while eating a hamburger in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. In Shelter, Oklahoma, women may not gamble in the nude, in lingerie, or while wearing a towel. In Tulsa, Oklahoma, you may not open a soda bottle without the supervision of a licensed engineer. Also in Tulsa, Oklahoma, 
elephants are not to be taken into the downtown area. In Winona, Oklahoma, one's mode of transportation must be tied up while not attended. Also, mules may not drink out of bird baths. <laughs> it looks like also clothes may not be washed in the bird baths. In Yukon, Oklahoma, it is illegal to tie a horse in front of City Hall. It is also, while passing another vehicle, that you must honk your horn. Now we're going to go ahead, looks like, and move to Oregon. Let's see. Babies may not be carried on the running boards of a car. I, do, I don't, yeah. Anyway, drivers may not pump their own gas in Oregon. A door on a car may not be left open longer than is necessary in Oregon. An adult may not show a minor any piece of classical artwork which depicts sexually, sexual excitement. Drivers must yield to pedestrians who are standing on the sidewalk. One may not test their physical endurance while driving a car on the highway. <laughs> it is illegal to place a container filled with human fecal matter on the side of any highway. It is illegal to buy or sell marijuana, but it is legal to smoke it on your own property. One may not bathe without wearing suitable clothing. Canned corn is not to be used as bait for fishing. Dishes must drip dry. The peer review statute prohibits you from finding out details with any written or oral discussion about your medical treatment. It is also illegal in Oregon to whisper dirty things in your lover's ear during sex. Ice cream may not be eaten on Sundays. Now, city laws in Oregon, we start out in Beaverton, where you must buy a $10 permit to be allowed to install a burglar alarm. In Eugene, Oregon, it is illegal to show movies or attend a car race on Sundays. It is also, it is legal to conduct a horse race or a symphony concert. In Hood River, juggling is strictly prohibited without a li license. In Klamath River, Oregon, it is illegal to walk down a sidewalk and knock a snake's head off with your cane. In Marin, Oregon, you cannot eat a donut and walk backwards on a city street. Also, ministers are forbidden from eating garlic or onions before they deliver a sermon. Myrtle Creek, Oregon, one may not box a kangaroo. Hmm. In Portland, Oregon, shoelaces must be tied while walking down the street. It's also against the law for a wedding ceremony to be performed at a skating rink. Also in Portland, Oregon, people may not whistle while underwater. You can also not wear roller skates in restrooms as well as riders of sleds may not attach themselves to passing cars. Also, in Portland, Oregon, persons may not pass through a traffic congestion through fair more than twice a night. Also, no one may attempt to cause someone to think that their property may be subjective to offensive physical contact. Also, minors may not enter a room where a social game is currently being played. Also in Portland, Oregon, trucks may not be parked on the street. Now in Salem, Oregon, it says women may not wrestle. In Springfield, Oregon, it is illegal to own a reptile within the city limits unless you are a school or city has a pet. 
in Stanfield, Oregon, it is against the law for animals to have sex within the city limits. It is also illegal for towel dispensers to be in restrooms. It is also, looks like, no more than two people may share a single drink in Stanfield, um, Oregon. In Yamhill, Oregon, it is illegal to predict the future. It is also, no one may allow their um, cellar door to remain open in Yamhill, Oregon. Now here in Pennsylvania, let's see what other laws we have. Looks like any motorist driving along a country road at night must stop every mile and send up a rocket signal, wait 10 minutes for the road to be cleared of livestock, and then continue. Wow. In Pennsylvania, you may not catch a fish by any body part except the mouth. Hmm. A special cleaning or ordinance bans housewives from hiding dirt and dust under a rug in a dwelling in Pennsylvania. Also, dynamite is not to be used to catch a fish. Looks like you may not sing while in the bathtub in Pennsylvania. Though you do not need a fishing license to fish on your own land, but a hunting license is required to hunt on your own land in Pennsylvania. Fireworks stores may not sell fireworks to Pennsylvanian residents. Hmm. So you can't have fireworks stores in Pennsylvania. They just can't be residents of Pennsylvania to purchase them. Makes sense. A person is not eligible to become governor if she or he or she has participated in a duel. Any motorist who sights a team of horses coming toward him must pull well off the road, cover his car with a blanket or canvas that blends with the countryside, and then let the horses pass. Ministers are forbidden from performing marriages when either the bride or the groom is drunk. Apparently this is a big problem in Pennsylvania. No more than two packages of beer at a time may be purchased, unless you are buying from an official beer distributor. It is contrary to Pennsylvania law to discourage a gun, cannon, revolver, or other explosive weapon at a wedding. All liquor stores must be run by the state. It is illegal to be over six, um, to have over 16 women live in a house together because that constitutes a brothel. Motorized vehicles are not to be sold on Sundays. In Pennsylvania, it is also illegal to sleep on top of a refrigerator outdoors. You may also not catch a fish with your hands. Now, the city laws of Pennsylvania. In Allentown, there is a ban on men becoming aroused in public. In Ben Salem, Persons convicted of felonies may not operate bingo games. Also, operators of bingo games may not advertise the prizes offered. In Carcel, Pennsylvania, in the middle of town, one must pay a fee of $50 a year to park on a particular block. In Collinsville, Pennsylvania, one's pants may be worn no lower than five inches below the waist. In Danaville, Pennsylvania, all fire hydrants must be checked one hour before all fires. In Millville, the sale of alcohol is prohibited. Also, one may not shoot any dog that is found wandering the streets. In Mooresville, Pennsylvania, it is required that a woman have a permit to wear cosmetics. In Newton, Pennsylvania, every outlet or switch which can be purchased for 59 cents 
that is installed requires an electrical inspection fee of $1.33. Also, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, no one is allowed to sleep on a refrigerator. This must be a big problem. A few of the uh, cities there in Pennsylvania have this as a law. Um, it is also still illegal to bring a donkey or a mule onto a trolley car. In Ridley Park, Pennsylvania, you cannot walk backwards eating peanuts in front of the Barn Stormers Auditorium during a performance. In Trantum, Pennsylvania, horses are not to be tied to parking meters. Now, here's looks like we are to Rhode Island, dumb laws within Rhode Island. So it looks like in Rhode Island, cap guns are illegal. Ropes may not be strung across the highway. No one in Rhode Island may bite off another's leg. Wonder why this is a problem. Might be a lot of cannibals or something up there. Anyway, Rhode Island also recently applied to have the U.S. government make all coastal waters of Rhode Island a no-discharge zone. Hmm. Impersonating a town sealer, auctioneer, quarter of wood, or a fence viewer is against the law. Riding a horse over any public highway for the purpose of racing or testing the speed of a horse is illegal. Exercising any labor business or work or using any game, sport, play, or recreation, or causing of any of the above to be done to or by your children, servants, or apprentices on the first day of the week, Sunday, results in the penalty of $5 for the first offense and $10 for the second. Professional sports, except ice polo and hockey, must obtain a license to play games on Sunday. Any marriage where either of the parties is an idiot or a lunatic is null and void. Also in Rhode Island, it is considered an offense to throw pickle juice on a trolley. Also in Rhode Island, one must make a loud noise before passing a car on the left. Now in the cities of Rhode Island, we've got, looks like in Newport, you cannot smoke a pipe after sunset. In Providence, Rhode Island, there is not an appeals process for exemption, exemption of property tax due to a disability or poverty. It is also illegal in Rhode Island to wear transparent clothing. You also in Providence, Rhode Island, you may not sell toothpaste and a toothbrush to the same customer on a Sunday. That's silly. And in Skatchewet, Rhode Island, it is illegal to drive down any street with beer in your car, even if it is unopened. In West Warwick, Rhode Island, it is illegal to use water on even numbers of the day for the sole purpose of watering plants, gardens, or lawns. That one is kind of is ridiculous as well. Now, if we go to the next one we have is, looks like, dumb laws in South Carolina. So, a person must be 18 years old to play a pinball machine in South Carolina. Also, performing a U-turn within 1,000 feet of an intersection is illegal in South Carolina. It is also considered an offense to get a tattoo in South Carolina. In South Carolina, it is also illegal to display a Confederate flag on a courthouse. Also, horses may not be kept in bathtubs in South Carolina. I wonder why that's a problem. Also, by law, if a man promises to marry an unmarried woman, the marriage must take place. It is illegal to sell any alcoholic beverages on Sunday unless you own a private club. 
Railroad companies may be held liable in some instances for scaring horses as they pass by. A permit must be obtained in South Carolina to fire a missile. Also in South Carolina, a railroad may not remove itself from a town of more than 500 people. Hmm. Also in South Carolina, it is illegal to give or receive oral sex. Fortune tellers are required to obtain a special permit in South Carolina. Also, when approaching a four-way or blind intersection in a non-horse-driven vehicle, you must stop 100 feet from the intersection and discharge a firearm into the air to warn horse traffic before continuing. Also in South Carolina, it, dance halls may not operate on Sundays. Let's see. It is also, it is perfectly legal to beat your wife on the courthouse steps on Sundays. Also, every adult male must bring a rifle to church on Sunday in order to ward off Indian attacks in South Carolina. Also, no work may be done on Sunday in South Carolina. Looks like in South Carolina, it is also a capital offense to inadvertently kill so someone while attempting suicide. <laughs> um, also in South Carolina, musical instruments may not be sold on Sunday. Now we're going to go ahead and have the dumb laws in the cities. Of South Carolina. So the first one we have here is in Charleston. In Charleston, South Carolina, the fire department may blow up your house. Wow. Also in South, uh, Charleston, it is against the law to drive a motorized vehicle on King Street. In Clemson, South Carolina, bitches in heat shall be confined. Also in South Carolina, lifeguards must be present at apartment complex pools, but only after 11 p.m. Also, sexually orientated businesses may not be open for business on Sundays in Clemson, South Carolina. Also looks like vicious dogs may not be kept within the city limits. Now in Fountain Inn, South Carolina, looks like houses, horses are to wear pants at all times. That I would love to see as a horse wearing pants in Fountain Inn, South Carolina. In Greenville, South Carolina, the drinking age on Furman University campus is 60 years old. In Hilton Head, South Carolina, carriages may not be driven on sidewalks. Also, one commits a nuisance if he or she leaves a large amount of trash in their own vehicle. In Lanchester County, South Carolina, it is illegal to dance in public in Lancaster. Uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. It is illegal to urinate in the waters of any park. Also, persons may not change clothes in a gas station without the permission first of the owner. Also, looks like uh, no one may sleep on the bent, uh, beach at night on Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Looks like dogs may not be on the beach during the summer months, during the daytime, or the owner may be arrested. In Spartanburg, South Carolina, eating watermelons in the, Mongo yeah, in the Mongolia Street Cemetery is forbidden. That, that's just kind of weird. Let's also quickly do, looks like, dumb laws in South Dakota. 
So if there are more than five Native Americans on your property, you may shoot them. No horses are allowed into Fountain Inn unless they are wearing pants. Here's another law with horses wearing pants. Um, it is illegal to lie down and fall asleep in a cheese factory in South Carolina. Also, movies that show uh, police officers being struck, beaten, or treated in an offensive manner are forbidden in South Dakota. We also have, looks like, the laws, or the dumb laws in South Dakota. In Spearfish, South Dakota, if three or more Indians are walking down the street together, they can be considered a war party and fired upon. Wow. Now that is just kind of, uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you for listening to this next section of dumb laws in the United States. You want to go ahead and stay tuned. We're going to start our next session with dumb laws in Tennessee. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel, and you have a great day.